And she's the mother of uh, the 20 year old that was killed in a car accident in December 99. And uh, while I was going through this area last year, I think she heard about what I was doing because it was at that time that uh, she told her parents about organ donations and that she wanted to, to become a donor. And uh, four months later, she lost her life. And uh, because of uh, we don't have a registry, her organs didn't get donated. And the uh, parents afterwards were extremely upset about it. You know? And um, I, I've talked to them about it. And they are just 100% behind this registry. And, and they're a main reason, like, it, you know, a main, main reason why we should have it. So I want you to, uh, I, I told her that you're out here. And we want to see if uh, you... Uh, can possibly interview her but she's still very sensitive you know it's been it hasn't been too long still like you know just watching George walk into Collingwood and I think it's a real sort of a challenge and hopefully it will do a lot for organ transplantation and donation uh, without a doubt, we are one of the lowest countries in the world with a 1.4 per million donors, so we need all the help we can get. You have been instrumental in helping me getting a book off the ground that's, I'm happy to say, going to press next week called The Waiting Game, and it really is a waiting game. Anybody who is waiting for an organ is, uh, has to be prepared to stay alive and wait from anywhere from six months to four years, depending on what organ it is. I'm the man! It's the waiting game, the crisis in the Canadian organ donor system. And we have a story of your daughter who was an organ donor and was... Uh, she would like to have been an organ donor. Would have liked to have been missed. an organ donor. And I think because she was missed, unfortunately, after the fact, we felt really, really bad for the potential to save six or eight people's lives was totally gapped, but it, it didn't happen. I, I think had she been able to make that donation, which was a wish of hers, we would have felt like there was still a part of her with us. And we're, um, you know, I think that's, uh, it's a very sad story, but in all these interviews I've done for the book, all the organ donors, their families, their loved ones that were left behind, all the ones I interviewed, they were all so tremendously honored and proud that they made that decision, that they really reached the decision to have organs donated. And um, I think what George is doing and what I was trying to do, I think we're all sort of, after we have gone through that experience of being on the brink of leaving this earth, you kind of get a new outlook on life. and. Um, you want to do something in return. I sat down, I spent three years writing this book. George has gone across the country and raise the level of awareness. That's, that's really what we need. People should be aware of what organ donation is really accomplishing. I, I, and I don't think that they are until a tragedy hits them and unfortunately it's too late then. Yeah. Yeah. Or I, I think we found that with um, Kinsmen and Canets, it went to them and with the OPP, they, they put on a special effort for organ donor awareness, um, our friends, but that's still such a small group. Um, it would be so much nicer if everybody could wake up one day and say, well, you know, if, if an accident happened to me, I could potentially help. Yeah. You know, Maddie, what's, so needed, what's needed in this country more than anything else, and I've spoken to so many service clubs, rotary clubs, all sorts of service clubs across this province is making people aware and educating people about organ donation. Yep. They don't quite understand what it's all about. Yep. They say, well, I got this card in my wallet, but they don't realize that that isn't good enough. If you don't talk to your family, if you don't talk to your loved ones that this should be your will, then, you know, they call you in the last minute, a tragic happened, a tragedy happened. And what are you going to say at that moment? You're not ready to deal You're with it. You're not ready to time. deal with it. No. 
So you need to prepare your family and your loved ones that if that should ever happen, God forbid, please donate my organs. Otherwise, we won't have any organ donors. And it can do so much good. And if there were a national registry, that would yeah. help immensely. I mean, look at me. I got a, a new heart three and a half years ago. And I am, this life has never meant so much to me than now. I mean, I'm full of Withinger and I'm full of... Uh, can we get and the, uh, I just have so much energy and yeah, I just cars? love to do things. So it's, it can recreate you again, yeah. you know. So Basically the message is that we need more people to, to be aware of organ donation right. being so low in Canada and to participate and to do anything we can to get it off off to a better, um, yeah. to a better um, awareness. Right.